the first time anyone sees farms of the Matanuska Valley, they're amazed by the contrasts, rugged, stormy mountains and tranquil milk cows. The ruggedness of Alaska in the 30s must have been even more amazing to the colonists who started these farms. In 1935, the New Deal administration, to help farmers get off relief, imported 202 families to Alaska from the Midwest. Promoters thought that the farmers' northern European backgrounds would help them endure the Alaska climate. Railroad interests wanted the valley settled to improve their business. The experiment was not a great farming success. Although 80 of the first settlers left and were replaced, the colonization did settle the valley and establish a local dairy cooperative. These farmers arrived with little but hope. They were expected to clear and subsist on 40 acres while living in tents. Many did manage to settle, build homes and barns, and begin a community. The government required the settlers to buy and sell through a socialistic-style cooperative. This was met with opposition from independent thinking farmers. Eventually, a cooperative began that was controlled by the dairy farmers themselves. The government continued to help the colony with federal aid of over $5 million. Of the historic 202 families, by 1953, 65 were still Alaskans, and 25 of those remained farmers. Today, there are few of the small family-style farms. The components for continuing dairy growth, however, are all in place here. Matanuska Valley has access to the University of Alaska's breeding research. There is reliable transportation to processors, available equipment and repairs, local grain and fish protein for feeds, and a processor and distributor right in Anchorage near the consumers. Dairies here in Alaska are not that different from modern dairies in the Midwest. The cows are bred from the same bulls and produce comparable milk. The climate is not a problem. Cows are more adversely affected by heat than cold. The local dairy co-op, Matanuska Made, can offer Alaska fresh milk for long distance travel. After processing in Anchorage, its products are flown to stores in Alaska's northern villages.